In this episode we are going to create something like a waving flag. So the end result will look like this. And yes, I know it's not perfect, but you get the idea how to create something like this using Panda 3D and the GLSL shader programming language. So we are going to start where we left off in the last episode. We have this scene, we have a plane, and onto this plane we added this uh, Ecuador's flag texture. And also this plane is subdivided, so it has multiple subdivisions. Let me let me uncomment uh, line 17, which will show the frame, wire frame. So as you can see, we now have multiple vertices, and we need this because because we are going to work in the vertex shader in this episode, and we are going to change constantly, going to change the vertex positions in this plane. So the first thing what we need is actually create some kind of an update method. I'm just going to call it update. And update will take the self and also the task. Not task, but task. And in the update method we are going to get the global frame time. So ft equals global clock that get frame time and this will return the time since the elapsed time since the application started in seconds so if you go to the documentation search for global clock and we have the global clock that get dt which returns the delta time uh, but the delta time doesn't changes so it is always 1 over 60 or 16 milliseconds but here it says another useful function is to get the frame time in seconds since the program started. So it is a constantly changing value. It measures the time since the application or the program has started. So we are getting the frame time. And what we are also going to do is we are going to set on the shader. So self.plane.set shader input. We are going to create in the vertex shader this time as a uniform and we are going to pass to this uniform the FT or the frame time. And to actually make this uh, update method run every uh, frame, we have to return the task that count or continue. And we also have to add this update method to the task manager so it will be called every frame so here i'm just going to add the cell the task manager that add the cell that update so this method and i'm just going to call it update and now let's create this uniform of type float which will be the time so go to the vertex shader and i'm just going to copy this from my second monitor and so this is the frame time in seconds since the program started. And this will be a uniform of type float called time. So to this uniform, we will pass the frame time through this um, command. So set shader input time, and this has to be the same name. So time here and time here. Okay, the next step will be actually to go to the main method so this or main function in the glsl so this function runs for every vertex in the in in that plane so what i'm going to do is just create a vector 4 called position and i'm just going to pass it a p3d vertex although we are we can remove the vector 4 part because because this is already a vector 4 the next step will be to actually change the y axis. So position that y will be plus equal to the sine function of time plus the position that x plus the pos position that z. And I'm just going to remove this part. So we are going to change the position that y. And here in the GL position, I'm just going to set it to model view proje projection matrix times the P3 
position instead of the uh, p3d underscore vertex. Let me see what happens now if I run it. And as you can see now we have some kind of a waving. Okay, let, let's add a waving effect also to the posi position.z. So I'm just going to copy and paste it here. So every frame we are going to also change the position that z axis by so plus equals to the cosine of time plus the position that z plus the position that x and don't forget the semicolon. And now let's see what happens. Okay, now it looks like the flag is waving. Although I'm just going to move the camera a little bit back, so set that camera the set position on the y-axis, let's say negative eight, and let's take a look. Okay, so now we have a waving flag. Although I'm just going to add one more thing, I'm just going to scale it down by 0 0.5, and also here times 0 0.5, so. It waves a little bit less as before. And also I'm just going to comment out line 17, so the wireframe on, because it looks a little bit better. So just remember that if you want to manipulate with the vertices, like creating uh, this kind of a waving effect, you need to have a uh, subdivided mesh. So it is not enough to have just four vertices per plane. In this plane, I have at least uh, horizontally, it is subdivided at least 20 times and also 20 times vertically. So I don't know how many vertices it is, although I can check it in Blender. Okay, in Blender here in the lower right corner, it says that this plane has uh, 1,156 vertices, 1,000, uh, more than 1,000 faces and about 2,000 triangles. So I'm just going to switch it to the wireframe mode and you can see how it is subdivided in Blender. So that's all I wanted to show you in this one. And hopefully I will see you one more time in this year. And uh, until then, just have a nice Christmas. And of course, thanks for watching.